I'm Tree and this is Stitchers TV and today we're going to make this gorgeous look gorgeous cardigan for this cardigan I got an old scarf from Portobello Market in London and it had these beautiful camels going all the way around the border so I've used that for the bottom of the peplum and it look it looks gorgeous at the back we've got two darts at the back and there was even enough left over for a scarf. Right, what you need for this tutorial, you just need a classic crew neck or v-neck cardigan. I got this one from the Unicorn Close Sale. I think it cost me something like 12 pounds or something. But you could get it from a charity shop or just an old one from your cupboard. Also, you need a large square scarf. My one's 85 centimetres square. It can be bigger than that, but really not really smaller than that because you need enough to gather. So we're going to try on the cardigan to see how far up we want the frill to go. So you put your cardigan on and then see where you want it to go. I've got to go and look in the mirror for this. Right, I think I want it to come probably to about there. So that's one, two, three, four buttons. I don't even need to measure it. I just know I'm going to do it up to the fourth button. So we counted four buttons. That was the length, or that's how much I wanted to come up on the cardigan. But we need seam allowance as well. So four buttons, one, two, three, four button holes, comes to 18 centimetres. But I have to remember for seam allowance, I've got to come down a little bit. So I'm going to keep my finger there, keep my finger there, and I'm going to cut up about a centimetre and a half away from the buttonholes because I want to keep them and I'm going to stop a centimetre and a half away from where I want it to finish and then basically we just cut all the way along. Keep that piece that you've just cut out okay because we're going to take it to our scarf and we're going to use it as a template for cutting out our scarf but very very important seam allowance you just have to take my word for it we need the seam allowance extra of the cardigan plus seam allowance for our scarf so all you need to know is to add three centimeters to that and then that's where you're going to cut so we have to cut two of them, so I'm laying the first one on top of here so I can use it as a template again, and then you just cut all the way along. Now do you know what? This scarf used to belong to my nonna in Italy and she's not, allowed, she's not alive anymore, and it's been sitting around in the back of my wardrobe, and I haven't really felt to wear it, because it, I don't know, it looked a bit fuddy-duddy as a scarf, even though I always wear them on my head. But do you know what? This is a perfect way to make really brilliant use of it. So the, so the rectangle that you have left over, don't throw it away, okay? Because look, we're gonna fold it over and we're gonna sew it and we're just gonna make it into a really lovely neck scarf, look, just like this. And it's just gonna coordinate with the frilly peplum at the bottom. Now, what we're gonna do is we need to locate the center back. So the way to do that, we just fold over the cardigan. It's really simple, fold over the cardigan Look, I've got all this ink on my fingers. Been doing a school project for my daughter, sorry about that. So I've got the centre back there, so I'm going to put a little notch there. And I need to find where I'm going to put my darts in the back of the cardigan, okay? So I'm going to fold it over one more time. This time though, I'm not going to put uh, I'm not going to put a notch for the centre. I'm just going to put a little notch about a centimetre away from the edge. Now you've got to make sure you go through all of the layers, which I haven't done on that one, so I'm going to go there. We've got our darts, okay, and now what we've got to do is we've got to fold it over on one of the side darts and you look, you're matching up those two notches and then es essentially all you're doing, you're just sewing like that, going into nothing at the edge. It'll probably be roughly about that. It really doesn't need to be exact. Again, I say, we use knitted fabrics and jerseys and fur because they just hide so much. They really do. You can make little mistakes and press them and nobody can see. I've pressed the, the darts on the cardigan here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get those 
bits of scarf that we just cut out and you just need to stitch up one of those one side you just need to stitch them together look I've got two here I'm going to stitch up one side and then what's going to happen is then we're going to gather it and all of this will just fit into the space like that but that's in a minute first of all we're going to do stitching up the seam and gathering I'm going to put the seams together make sure that the hemmed edge is lined up because that's going to show and then you're just ready to gather all the way along the long bit so when you do your gathering remember gathering it's your biggest stitch no backwards and forwards because you need to be able to pull the threads if you go backwards and forwards you can't pull the threads threads and off we go it's really easy one more thing um, open up your center back seam as I've done here and then before you get to the back seam stop don't go backwards and forwards because it's much easier to gather two smaller bits than one great big really long bit so I'm going to stop at that centre back seam and then I'm going to begin again along the next bit right so we've stitched up stitched up the back seam there I'll press it later and we've done all our gathering look we've done the gathering all along the top but in two sections so now with my grubby fingers I'm going to start gathering so you can either pull the top thread or the bottom thread you can't pull both or nothing happens so that's one side gathered now what, I've, what I'm doing I'm not gathering it so that it exactly fits but I am being aware of I need extra seam allowance down this end I'm lining up the center back with that center notch do you remember we did the center notch there so I'm lining it up with there but if it doesn't fit exactly it doesn't matter because we're gonna you know there's a lot of room for movement so I'm going to do the same on the other side so it's going to look like this I've got it all gathered it's going to fit into there I've lined up my center back seam with that little notch I've got a little bit more here but it doesn't matter if I haven't because I can ease it afterwards now the first things that we're going to sew are not what you would expect to be come down here and have a look what we're going to do we're going to we've got it like that we're going to put right sides together okay and we're going to stitch the edge of the scarf onto here now look because it's silk going on to a knitted fabric I don't want to take any risks of things gathering up or anything like that so that's where good old bondaweb comes in I'm going to glue it in place first and it will be a dream to sew and now it's right sides together you probably get really fed up with this right sides up right sides together but it makes and well it's just the whole thing actually it's enormous it makes an enormous difference very important bondaweb I cut it so that I get about three strips out of one width so whatever measurement that is it kind of looks like two mil I'm going to put it on the cardigan going along the cut bit make sure it doesn't go on the iron and make sure it doesn't go on your ironing board and then I'm going to put right sides together and I'm going to really make sure that that's lined up properly there and it's going to stop about there so I'm going to get the iron now and I'm going to press oh whoops whoops okay so I've got bonder web on each end and we're just going to go and sew now when you sew it's the most important part this bit I know it sounds really silly but look these two bits when you sew make sure they're more or less the same length okay and when you sew you're going to sew about a centimeter in straight stitch and you can't go in on the bonder web otherwise the bonder web will show so make sure that where you stitch is going to be past the bonder web so when you get to the end you've got to stop a centimeter whatever your seam allowance was it was a centimeter and a half for us so you've got to stop a centimeter and a half past where it's cut here look if you have a look I'm going to go along and look where I'm stopping I'm stopping about there 
trim off all your loose threads and this is what we've done okay so we've come along here we've made sure that we missed all our bonder web and we've come so we are move these threads out of the way we're, we're you know about a centimeter centimeter and a half past this point here and in a minute what we're going to do it's very important we're going to be mitering that we're going to mitre to the edge here in fact I'm going to do it now we're going to mitre it like that at an angle just to where your stitch had finished there and then do exactly the same on the other side so we've got it like this I've mitered my edge do you remember I said you cut a mitre? It's a diagonal, diagonal cut. The reason why we do that is because if it was together like that, how on earth could I turn around to go like that? I couldn't. So what you're doing is you mitre it, so you open that up, so you get a bit of a triangle there, so that this can go all the way along, all nice and smooth. Now when you stitch it, you need to include that. So make sure when you stitch it, you go into there and capture it match up your notch with your center back and then you you might need to ease remember you can ease this open to make it fit now so long as you're lining up the center back of the scarf and the notch you're all right and then hold that there and then just go to the machine and go and sew It'd be really easy now remember you had it on a large stitch before didn't you when you were doing your gathering so you need to put that stitch back to number three so don't forget to do that. But there's something I want to say about the mitre bit, because like for me, I've been doing it for years, so it's easy, but you know, it might be a bit tricky for you. This bit here, the mitre bit, right? Remember we opened it up. When you come to the end and you come along and you finish at that point there, you've definitely got to incorporate that because otherwise that's just going to fray so you come along and you really carefully incorporate that but you don't want to create a pleat or anything now, because of that mitered bit when you do sew it you do have to sew on the knitted side but do not stretch that knitted fabric you can you can ease the gathering to be bigger rather than stretching the, the knitted fabric so that's sewing on the knitted side, not on the silk side. So here it is, this is what we've got so far. Very exciting, I know, but we have to finish off. So look underneath, doesn't look so great underneath. Oh my God. <laughs> so because I think this is probably quite a synthetic scarf, I don't know, it's all kind of frayed. So it's really important to trim, just trim back all those loose threads. Okay, make it all neat underneath. Because the inside is, you know, it's just as important as the outside. And then zigzag all those edges. Nearly there, we've just got to press it. And remember, do you know what I always say? Never underestimate the iron and pressing. It's the difference between something looking really shoddy and cheap and something really beautifully finished off. And now the moment of truth. Ordinary lemon cardigan, which I probably would never have worn. Nonna's scarf, so I get to wear it, but not in a kind of usual fashion, so she can be with me, but in a stylish way. So let's have a look. What does it look like? Oh, it looks really great. Look at that. So the darts at the back, they just give it a little bit more shape. It's really, really nice, isn't it? I can tell that it's really, really nice. So that cost me, what did it cost me? 12 pounds for the cardigan. Nonna didn't charge me for the scarf, so that was for free. So look, I've got this amazing, gorgeous cardigan for 12 pounds. 